Welcome to Tecamuna.com video reviews. Today we're checking out a really interesting device. It actually has no brand and all it says on the box is USB to HDTV cable. Claims to allow lag-free screen mirroring via USB-C to HDMI and that it works on any Android phone. You can find it in Shopee for about 650 pesos and I'll put an affiliate link in the description below. In the box, all you get is the USB to HDMI cable and an instruction manual which surprisingly is all in English. The cable has a male HDMI port, a USB plug for connection to a power source, and a micro USB to USB-C port. If you're wondering what's so special about this cable, you see most Android phones do not support video out from their USB-C port. Usually only high-end phones like Samsung Galaxy S series, LG, and some OnePlus flagship devices have this feature. The only other way you can mirror your phone's screen is to use a streaming device like a Chromecast, but unfortunately, this usually comes at the expense of video lag. I'll be using a Xiaomi Mi 9T, and as you can see, plugging in a regular USB-C to HDMI adapter will not work on the Mi 9T. However, on my Samsung Tab S6, which has native video out support, you can see that it works perfectly. Setting up the device is very easy. First thing you need to do is download an app called Mira Plug from the Google Play Store. Then you will need to connect the HDMI cable to an external monitor or TV. Next, you will need to plug the USB to any standard phone charger. Now open the Mira Plug app and plug in your USB-C cable to your phone. You'll need to grant the app some access permission for it to work. And now you should see your phone screen on your TV or monitor. As you can see, it works pretty well with almost no lag. Now to get audio to work, you need to go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone, turn it on and search for Mira BT device and pair it. Everything should be working fine now. You can play YouTube videos, and as you can see, audio and video are actually working pretty well. It's also pretty handy in editing Word documents. And of course, it's also great for playing all sorts of games. In fact, I think that this would make a great game emulation device. In fact, if you pair it with a Bluetooth keyboard, mouse, and game controller, you can turn your phone into a mini Android gaming PC. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you're wondering if you could get some sort of Samsung DeX or Android 10 desktop mode to work on the phone, then the short answer is no. However, after trying Sentio Desktop or using Nova Launcher, you can get some sort of poor man's version of DeX. Although it's a far cry from a true Android desktop mode. I really wish someone would make a desktop launcher for Android that's as good as Samsung DeX. But for now, this is the best we can do. Before you get too excited, there are a few caveats that you need to know first. Probably the biggest con on this device is that it doesn't support video streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. My guess is that there is some sort of copyright protection to prevent video piracy. Despite this limitation, I'm still very happy with this device. The fact that this even exists is actually quite amazing. It solves a simple problem that has boggled my mind for the longest time, which is why don't all Android phones support video out via USB. I'm really curious to know how much more it would cost to add this feature. My Samsung Galaxy S2 from 2011 had this feature, so it's really puzzling why this still isn't standard on all Android phones. I hope you enjoyed my review of this very interesting device. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.